welcome back to another episode of House of Cards. This is episode 23. If you haven't been here before and you're checking this out and you like what you see as we're getting through this, please like this video. That'd be awesome. And if you haven't yet, subscribing is a great way to get a notification for every time a new video drops. Right now, we're looking at about twice a week, sometimes more, but I definitely um, love to uh, continue to make videos on a regular basis because there's so much to talk about in this great hobby and there is always new things coming up. And that leads us to today's conversation where we're going to be looking at a brand new app for box breaking. Yes, there's now an official app for box breakers. Now, there has been other apps um, that have come out that specific stores have created for their box breaking uh, scheduling and buy-ins and, and, and so on and so forth. So I don't want to say this is the first box breaking app, but it's the first box breaking app that is more um, made as a platform for breakers to use um, to break on. So this isn't made for like a specific store. This is made for all breakers to um, be able to use and to, um, you know, enjoy. So that I thought was a pretty cool thing. And I think this is kind of the first step um, in this new sort of world of breaking and, and what's going on in this, you know, breaking has been around, you know, f for a while, probably 10, 15 years or so. So it's not a brand new uh, novelty, but it definitely is kind of the thing that is uh, propelling um, sports cards into sort of the more, I guess you would say, kind of everyday person's life because. The way you can get into this now is so much easier than it is, you know, either trying to go to retail and buy um, product, which there is none, or going to your local card shop, which, you know, for some people might feel intimidating or they might feel like a fish out of water sort of situation. So I think online box breaks is really a nice, easy entry point. You know, for the most part, you can join one pretty much at any given time or hour, it seems like. Um, but with an app that kind of, you know, gets everything together for you in one place where you can join a break, pick your products, pay for the products, and have all your information stored so the shipping and everything is very easy and, and frictionless, then I think there is something really cool to be uh, said about that. So the, the app today we're going to look at is called Loop. Um, it looks like it's spelled Lupe, but <laughs> what I what I gathered is it's uh, pronounced Loop. And it seems like it's only came out, um, you know, a few months ago and it's fairly new. So it's definitely uh, something that's um, kind of still in that, you know, I guess a beta kind of, you know, getting a traction stage. So um, they have been working on it, it seems like. I've seen updates come out over the last little bit here. Um, so I noticed that each time an update comes out, there's a new feature or a new cool um, thing added to it. So very, very um, excited for these guys. And I hope that, you know, there's they find success because I think they're off to a great start. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go ahead and flip over to the app where I will share sort of uh, the features and kind of how it works. Okay, so we are here in the app loop. So this is the home page where you land, you know, after you create your account and, you know, set everything up, which is pretty straightforward. You don't have to do too much. Um, so you're basically land right into this um, it's kind of like a blog section and this actually links directly to their website so if you wanted to read this article on you know stocking stuffers uh for sports cards you know there you go it takes you to their site they have nice little articles um so a lot of stuff's kind of fun um there's some nice you know kind of hobby interesting stuff in there talking about project 2020 and but they also have good things too for newbies like there's uh terminology explanations for breaking and different things that are very useful i think um if you're just sort of getting into this world um so anyways that's pretty much all this section is is just kind of a, a handful of blogs um the streams is kind of the main kind of section of this and then of course your profile is where you just kind of have your basic information um, but the streams is where you'll see the, the live breakers of who's actually currently breaking so right now um, it's nine o'clock at night so we're uh, looking at one breaker currently uh, fresh pools is uh, currently breaking the one thing I would say about this app right now is that you know it needs to scale up obviously in its users and its breakers um, one thing I wasn't really clear on is there's not like a way to um, easily figure out how to apply to uh, become a breaker on the platform, which I thought was interesting because I thought they would make that a little bit more robust to 
get more traction in that department, um, which maybe they're just trying to keep it scaled back for now so they can get more users first and then add the breakers because I feel like um, you'll get a lot more breakers early than you will users, but you never know either way. But I haven't been able to uh, get all the information yet. I did actually figure out how to um, reach the uh, right person. So I kind of was doing a little bit of uh a snoopy. So I went into their blog here and I was just kind of going through some of their articles and at the bottom of uh, one of the articles, which I think it was this one. Anyways, there was a comment from a user asking of how to do that. And I ended up um, kind of following that comment and I figured out how to uh, contact the CEO because he basically just left the CEO's email address in the comment section of one of these articles. So I reached out to the CEO. He replied back within a couple hours. I just asked him, hey, you know, if I was interested in doing breaks with you, you know, what is sort of the the policies and what is the procedures to get that set up? He wrote back and asked a few questions regarding, you know, what, um, you know, uh, how much I was planning on breaking in terms of product and where my store was located and all those kinds of details. So I wrote back to him again. I haven't heard back yet. And this was, you know, all within this holiday time frame. So I'm assuming after the holidays are over, probably get back in touch with me. But it was an interesting um, uh, kind of weird way of kind of figuring out how to become a breaker on the platform. So um, at any time, the most I've seen on here actively breaking was probably about five different breakers. So again, not quite scaled up. Maybe they're just slow rolling it to, you know, work out bugs and stuff in the beginning. I do think the platform launched sometime in October, as far as I can tell. But anyways, um, so when you tap on the uh, breaker there, it takes you directly into the platform where you will see the break happening live. And as you can tell here, <laughs> there is literally a break happening before our eyes. So, um, a nice Juan Soto card there. That's awesome. <laughs> so what you'll see here is your kind of your basic stuff there at the bottom there. It says chat 21 viewers. So you'll see that there is 21 people currently on um, this current, you know, breakers page. This doesn't mean there's 21 people actually breaking or participating in the break. That just means how many people are actually watching. Um, you got your comments, of course. You click the sale items and this pops up here. This is your uh, list of items that the breaker has available for sale. So what's cool about this is you um, can buy um, everything from packs of boxes um, to full boxes themselves. But what I've noticed is uh, packs kind of seem to be the popular option on this platform because it's a little bit of a lower price point. So you'll see the different um, packs and the different products there. I like how they use the little uh, emojis for the football and the baseball to, to signify the different sport. Um, so, you know, you got prison football, um, cellos up there for uh, $45. So he has eight total. So that's pack number four out of eight. Um, so there should be, you know, other ones there. You'll also notice that if the, um, product has been purchased already it'll say um, claimed and then it'll have the name of the of the user right next to it and then of course the the buy with apple pay button is going to be missing because that means it's already been purchased and you can't purchase it anymore so that's pretty cool so it's really easy to kind of tell you know what's available what's been selling um and most of these breakers have a pretty good selection that I've seen so far. Obviously, some of them kind of specialize in certain products more than others. Um, a lot of uh, football right now, not too much basketball. I actually did see a guy break uh, 2018 Prism last night, um, a whole box. Um, and he actually pulled a, a Luca, which was great for him. So there's been um, some pretty cool uh, breaks that I've actually witnessed on here. But I think uh, breakers like this, uh, Fresh Pools, they really primarily focus on the um, packs and whatnot. So there's um, price points kind of for everybody in there as low as like you see 22 bucks there all the way up to, you know, 105 for a Prism Hobby Pack. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a really cool way for people to sort of see breaks and uh jump into breaks whenever they can and you'll get really cool uh, uh updates and stuff on your phone whenever there is a new um uh, breaker launching and that'll uh you know kind of show you what you know uh what's going on at any given moment really good uh push notifications so yeah this is um this is loop 
and you'll see they just keep going and going and you know until um, there's nobody there or nothing uh, is being purchased so um, I don't know much about the other the back end side as being a breaker like how much of a percentage they take or anything along those lines um, or you know what other kind of rules and regulations they have for using their platform i noticed apple pay is the the payment portal which i think is great but what if you you know don't have an apple uh, phone how does that work so you know there still are some questions to be had um but i think for the most part what we can take away from this is that you know this is a great kind of start you know this is a great first leap into this world and i think that this platform or maybe it'll be another one um, will kind of take it and run with it from here. So I think that, you know, being the first out the gate, it's always the hardest, but you'll also get the most traction and the earliest kind of crowd. So um, I hope these guys do good. This is a, an awesome start and I look forward to using this platform and check it out when you get a chance. All right, that's it. So thanks again. I hope uh, you learned a little something about Loop and you can uh, give it a whirl when you um, have the time. So I will be off for the next couple days but we'll be back on monday with a great monday mailbag day and that will be the return for next week so hope everyone had an amazing holiday season happy christmas kwanzaa hanukkah whatever it is you celebrate it's all good as long as you have love in your heart and uh enjoy being around your family and friends so until the next video guys see you then peace